Hey guys, it's your girl Jay and I'm back with another video. So, where have I been? <laughs> Let me recap this weekend for you. Um, first and foremost, my oldest son turned seven yesterday. So we celebrated that on Saturday. Um, and Sunday. <laughs> he had a little party with um, some cousins and a couple of friends on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we took him to the Children's Museum. Well, I can't remember if it was Friday or Saturday. But one of these two days, I don't know what happened to my foot. I don't have a clue how I injured it. And it's actually my ankle, not my foot. But I woke up and literally could not put any pressure on my right foot. My hip and my knee don't hurt at all anymore, y'all. <laughs> but now this foot, I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. It's Monday now and this foot is still pretty sore. I took some leave and I have it wrapped up. But I didn't I was not able to go for my walks all weekend and the weather was beautiful. Like absolutely beautiful. Like we had um water balloons planned for my son's uh party on saturday and i didn't think we were going to be able to do them we did end up doing them <laughs> but only because they're young and they don't have any aim and <laughs> nobody would get really wet anyway but the weather was so nice and i was so disappointed because i was really looking forward to to walking without all the heat and humidity those are the best times anyway couldn't do that um, but I didn't quit. I'm still, um, sticking with my fast, still doing exercises. I just haven't done, um, cardio. I haven't done any walking or any videos or anything like that. I've just been working with my weights and working on my arms since those are a problem area for me. So maybe that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, and I've still been doing my lower body exercises, my leg lifts and, um, things like that. I just cut the squats in an effort to hopefully let this ankle rest and heal. Um, let me show you it. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to just let that heal. Uh, unfortunately, this is the same ankle that I injured, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago. But I tore some ligaments in this ankle. So anything that happens in this, it, it takes forever. It takes forever for it to heal. There's tons of scar tissue. I never got full range of motion back in this um, ankle. And this is the reason why I don't wear heels now. Because it is, actu it is <laughs> actually absolutely excruciating to have this ankle at, um, at certain angles. Um, and being the genius that I am, young and dumb, I didn't finish physical therapy after, after I healed. So, like I said, I never got full range of motion back anyway. Tons of scar tissue, and it's just, ugh, giving me the blues right now. But, um, I'm doing a lot more strength training, I guess. <laughs> so, that's, that was that, and that's kind of where I have been. Um, weigh-in Tuesday is tomorrow. Not really looking forward to that because it is that time again. So I expect that I will probably gain another five pounds of water weight. And that's just the way it is. Um, oh, I was tagged. I was tagged by one day at a time with Angela to do a couple of fun questions and answer those. So I am going to go ahead and get into that. I will have her link below and um the others that i tag i will put their links also in the description um i didn't feel like waiting for my laptop to charge so i wrote these questions down so if i'm looking down a lot then i'm just reading off of my notebook guys <laughs> i'm looking at myself right now and i'm i'm, I'm kind of looking exactly how i feel right now <laughs> but let's let's get these questions in do you collect anything is the first one Nope. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> no, I don't collect anything. Um, I don't know how these questions are going to go because I feel like I'm I'm kind of boring, guys. <laughs> My life is not that interesting. Um, 
I don't collect anything. Um, I do like to read, so I do have a good bit of books, but I wouldn't call it a collection. Um, two, what is the one thing most people wouldn't know about you? <laughs> um, I don't know if I mentioned it on here. I don't like food um, that has like smooth texture. Mashed potatoes, nope. Ice cream without stuff in it? Nope. Yogurt? Uh-uh. Jello? Yuck. <laughs> it it makes me gag. Very rarely I can eat mashed potatoes, but I have to like dip chicken in it or something. I I, I would eat it more as a sauce than a side dish. I can't I can't do smooth textures. I don't know why I've been like that since I was a kid. Um, but it makes me gag. <laughs> it's not that interesting. <laughs> That's what I can think of right now. <laughs> anyway, the next one. What is one thing you wish you would have listened to from family and friends? Family and friends. Um, well, I guess I'll go back to my um kind of fat shaming episode. Um, even though it wasn't the most polite way to kind of say things, um, I do wish that I would have paid more attention to my health when I was younger, when it would have been a lot easier <laughs> to lose weight and my life wasn't as busy and chaotic and I would have had even more time to kind of focus on, um, weight loss. I wish I would have done it earlier. Um, I wish I could have been this focused earlier. I wish I could have been this driven and this strong earlier. But yeah. Um, do you think any kind of afterlife exists? If so, what? Y'all don't come for me in these comments. Do not come for me. Um, no. I do not. I think once you're dead, you're dead. And your body just kind of returns to the earth. And that's it. <laughs> I told y'all these questions were not, I mean, these answers were not going to be that interesting. Um, let's see what else. Number five. If you were granted a, granted a choice of superpowers, which would you choose? The power to stop time to make changes or the ability to heal? Well, definitely the ability to heal. Um... I always say I want more time, but if I had the ability to heal, that would be absolutely amazing. I would be like a little fairy going around to everyone with any type of illness or disease or anything that they did that, um, that was complicating, uh, you know, their life or affecting their health and, and just poof, taking it away, <laughs> taking it away for every, from everyone, um, Let's see. Which would you choose to be a billionaire but never know love or make fifty thousand dollars a year? I will take fifty grand for one hundred Alex. <laughs> um I don't know what life would be without love. As introverted and um as much as I like to be alone or have my alone time, everybody needs love. Everybody needs love. And as much as my husband can wreck my nerves, I wouldn't trade him in for anything. Not at all. It, it's pretty amazing to have a person to go through life with. A person that you can open up to and talk to without any filters or without holding back. Somebody who knows your deepest, darkest secrets so you don't have to feel like you have to hide anything or tiptoe around things. Somebody who can go on every journey with you and experience all of life's wonderful pleasures together. There's really nothing like it. It's, it, it truly is priceless. I know that's cliche, but it truly is priceless. Um... If you could go back in time, what one thing would you have changed in your life? You know, I would have finished college. 
that's one thing that I would have changed. And that's one thing that I still will change. But I wish I would have done it when I started it. Um, I do have an associate's degree in business. But I never went back to get my bachelor's. I just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But now that the kids are back in school, um, that's one thing that I have been thinking about. I know I wanted to take a break and kind of just take care of me after taking care of little people 24 hours a day, seven days a week for so long. Um, but I think that's one of the things or one of the parts of taking care of me is getting... Um, getting at least that uh, bachelor's degree because that's something that I always wanted and uh, something that's always been in the back of my mind. So if I could, I would go back and have completed that sooner. <laughs> um, what one moment in time that changed humanity would you change? Slavery. I would have changed slavery. I think without it, I don't think so many people, well, not so many people because everybody's not, but I don't think there would be so many racist, hateful people out in the world today. I think partly because that occurred, some people look at people of other races as property and not really like, or objects, I should say, and not really like people. So, yeah, that's something I would change. Hi. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. So, are my kids. <laughs> so, question number nine. If you choose something in, if you could choose something in the creative field, what would it be? You guys, I would sing. I swear. I cannot sing a lick. But I swear. <laughs> when I put my earbuds in and I drown myself out, you know. <laughs> I think I am the concert, like, in my head. <laughs> I can't sing, I can't dance, but I think it'd be really cool to be able to. Um, and, like I said, I'm fairly introverted, and I really don't like, like, speaking in front of crowds or um, being around a lot of people, but if I had vocal skills like Jennifer Hudson or Whitney Houston or somebody like that. Oh, true, huh? I bet you. <laughs> I bet you all those fears will fade away. Um, next question. You're in a shopping complex and someone needs help. Would you stop to help? Yeah. Um, that's just who I am. I can't... Um, I can't just pass by somebody in need. Especially when um, whatever type they help whatever type of help they need is something that I can provide. And even if I can't provide whatever it is they need, if I can do a simple call to 911 or get somebody else who can help that person, I'm all about it. Um, yeah, I could never walk by somebody who really needed something and not, not assist. If you don't do daily vlogs, would you do vlogist or vlogtober? I told y'all my life is not that interesting. <laughs> I have seen um, Vlogtober and I can't remember what the Christmas one is called um, for the month of December or so, I guess. Um, I have seen those and I think they're kind of interesting, but I just don't know what type of content. Please stop jumping on the bed. I don't know what type of content I would provide in those days. Um, I don't think I could do like a daily weigh in because then my moods would be like a roller coaster and that just wouldn't be good. Um, and then, like I said, my day to day life is just not that, uh, interesting enough to post like every day. Zay wants to show his Spider Man jacket. He got these, um, well, he already had that shirt, but he got this jacket for his birthday and he's very excited about that. And I got Spider Man toys. To show you. <laughs> he's going to get his Spider-Man toys for you guys. So while he's going to get that, I am going to call out some other vloggers. So, you have been tagged. April, city girl to country wife. I'm tagging you. Um, cardio and cake. 
I am tagging you. Life with Mamiana, Ashleyana. I am tagging you. I've mentioned the first two that I've uh that I just said before. But Life with Mamiana, Ashleyana, you guys, I love her song at the beginning. <laughs> like it gets stuck in my head all day long. Go check her channel out. Like I said, I'll have everybody's links in the description box below. Um Rags and Fitness, I am tagging you. He is also on a weight loss journey, you guys. So if you want to um, take a look, he's beasting it over there. Um, Simply Kwani, another one on a weight loss journey. I love her channel. I love her personality. Um, and Dominique Smith also. I absolutely love her personality. I don't know why, but her voice is so like soothing and calming to me. <laughs> it's weird. But anyway, check these guys out. Um... And that's all I got for you guys tomorrow today. Tomorrow is weigh in Tuesday. Um, we'll see what that brings. And beast mode. <laughs> Yay! Beast mode is a mukbanger. <laughs> and queen beast. And queen beast. <laughs> and queen beast. Okay, but anyway, see you guys. See you later, guys.